Anfield Stadium is the legendary home of the Reds, and it has been for well over a century. The turf has seen some epic sporting showdowns over the years, from Premier League matches to UEFA Champions League face-offs. Crowds here average around 53,000 and the atmosphere on game days has been hailed as unlike any other sporting venue on the globe, even by the opposition. Dedicated fans of the Liverpool Soccer Club often make a trip to Anfield Stadium, making it one of the most visited sports venues in the UK. Read on to learn more about this famous Liverpool Soccer Stadium. Believe it or not, Anfield Stadium was actually once the home of Liverpool FC's archenemies, Everton. However, the blue kit footy rivals of the Reds vacated the stadium way back in 1891. A year later, John Halding officially founded Liverpool Soccer Club at Anfield and went on to expand and enlarge the stadium as the reputation of his club grew and grew. By 1928, Anfield was known for the huge cup, a standing terrace that could host up to 30,000 people. Other additions included floodlights and an all-new Kemlin Road Terrace that significantly increased stadium capacity. Famous spots like the Shankly Gates, where visitors can see the words of Liverpool's anthem You'll Never Walk Alone emblazoned on high, came in the early 1980s. There were plans afoot to completely replace Anfield Road after the millennium. However, they were dropped in favour of further expansions, which eventually took the capacity to a whopping 53,394, putting the arena well within the top 10 largest soccer stadiums in the country. Anfield is a football stadium in Anfield, Liverpool, England, which has a seating capacity of 61,276, making it the fifth largest football stadium in England. It has been the home of Liverpool since their formation in 1892. It was originally the home of Everton from 1884 to 1891, before they moved to Goodison Park after a dispute with the club president. The stadium has four stands, the Spian Cup, the main stand, the Sir Kenny Dalglish stand and the Anfield Road End. The record attendance of 61,905 was set at a match between Liverpool and Wolverhampton Wanderers in 1952. The ground converted to an all-seater stadium in 1994 as a result of the Taylor Report, which reduced its capacity. Two gates at the stadium are named after former Liverpool managers, Bill Shankly and Bob Paisley. Both managers have been honoured with statues outside the stadium, Shankly's unveiled in 1997 by the cop stand and Paisley's in 2020 by the main stand. The ground is 2 miles, 3 kilometres, from Liverpool Lime Street Railway Station. It was proposed in 2002 for the club to relocate to a new stadium in the adjacent Stanley Park, but after the acquisition of Liverpool FC by Fenway Sports Group in 2010 it was made clear this would not happen, with the decision being taken to expand Anfield instead. Construction for an extension to the main stand began on December 8, 2014. This extension, one of the largest all-seater single stands in European football, opened to the public on September 9, 2016, increasing the stadium capacity to 54,074. The Anfield Road stand recently finished redevelopment in December 2023, bringing the stadium capacity to 61,000. The stadium is named after the surrounding area, Anfield. The word originated in the combination of Old and Middle English words, which mean a field on a slope. Anfield, and its deviations, has been associated with the area since at least 1642. Anfield has hosted numerous international matches, and was one of the venues used during UEFA Euro 1996, the ground hosted three group games and a quarter-final. The first international match hosted at Anfield was between England and Ireland, in 1889. England won the match 6-1. Anfield was also the home venue for several of England's international football matches in the early 1900s, and for the Welsh national team in the later part of that century. Anfield has also played host to five FA Cup semi-finals, the last of which was in 1929. The most recent international to be hosted at Anfield was England's 2-1 victory over Uruguay on March 1, 2006. 
The close proximity of the stands to the pitch prevents the club from extending the pitch to suit UEFA's parameter requirements. Since 2006, the stadium has been ineligible to host England games, Champions League and Europa League finals, and UEFA tournaments, UEFA Euro 2028. England has played two testimonial matches against Liverpool at Anfield. The first was in 1983, when England faced Liverpool for Phil Thompson's testimonial. Then, in 1988, England visited again for Alan Hansen's testimonial. Liverpool's arch-rival Manchester United played their first home game of the 1971-72 season at Anfield as they were banned from playing their first two home league matches at Old Trafford after an incident of hooliganism. United beat Arsenal 3-1. In November 2019, Anfield hosted a women's Super League fixture for the first time, with the sixth match day of the 2019-20 season featuring the Merseyside Derby between Liverpool FC Women and local rivals Everton FC Women. On September 25, 2022, Anfield played host to second Merseyside Derby between two women's first teams in the Women's Super League. Played before a record attendance of 27,574 for a Liverpool game for their women's first team, it was also the first women's Merseyside Derby to be televised. This attendance would go on to become the seventh highest attendance of the 2022-23 season. On August 22, 2023, it was announced that Anfield will host a third women's Merseyside Derby on October 15, 2023. The stadium has hosted five rugby league matches, the 1989 Charity Shield between Widnes and Wigan, the 1991 World Club Challenge between Wigan, winners of the RFL Championship, and Penrith Panthers, winners of the Australian NSWRL Premiership, with an attendance of 20,152, a 1997 St. Helens Super League home game against Castleford Tigers, with an attendance of 12,329, and the 2016 Rugby League Four Nations Final, in front of 40,042 people. Anfield was chosen as the venue for the 2019 Magic Weekend after two test matches were played there in 2016 and 2018. After previously choosing games that were local derbies or competitive games, in 2019 the fixtures were determined by the previous season's league position. Robert L. Stone, Super League Chief Executive, said on behalf of the Super League clubs, we're delighted to be taking the Dacia Magic Weekend to one of the most famous stadiums in the world. Anfield has been the venue for many other events. During the mid-twenties, Anfield was the finishing line for the City Marathon. Liverpool held an annual race which started from St. George's Plateau in the city centre and finished with a lap of Anfield. Boxing matches were regularly held at Anfield during the interwar years, including a number of British boxing championships, on June 12, 1934 Nell Tarleton beat Freddie Miller for the world featherweight title. Professional tennis was played at Anfield on boards on the pitch. US Open champion, Bill Tilden, and Wimbledon champion, Fred Perry, entertained the crowds in an exhibition match. In 1958, an exhibition basketball match featuring the Harlem Globetrotters was held at the ground. Aside from sporting uses, Anfield has been a venue for musicians of different genres as well as evangelical preachers. One week in July 1984, the American evangelist Billy Graham preached at Anfield, attracting crowds of over 30,000 each night. Anfield was featured in Liverpool's 2008 European Capital of Culture celebrations, 36,000 people attended a concert on June 1, 2008, featuring the Zutons, Kaiser Chiefs, and Paul McCartney. Live concerts made a return to Anfield in the summer of 2019, with Take That, Bon Jovi and Pink performing. Take That lead singer Gary Barlow, a Liverpool fan, brought out a guest vocalist, Gary Marsden, and they sang the club's anthem You'll Never Walk Alone. Artists who played at the stadium in summer 2022 include Elton John, the Rolling Stones, and the Eagles. Taylor Swift will play three consecutive dates at the stadium, featuring Paramore as special guests, 
from 13 to June 15, 2024 as part of her ERA's tour. The highest attendance recorded at Anfield is 61,905, for Liverpool's match against Wolverhampton Wanderers in the FA Cup fifth round, on February 2, 1952. The lowest attendance recorded at Anfield was 1,000 for a match against Loughborough on December 7, 1895. The highest average attendance of 53,112 was set for the 2016-17 season. Liverpool did not lose a league match at Anfield during the 1893 to 94-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-71-1972-
It also hosts international games and was one of the venues used during the UEFA Euro 1996 tournament. It's also played host to numerous rugby matches and is used as a music venue for some of the world's most famous artists. Take that, Bon Jovi and Pink have all played at Anfield. During Liverpool's 2008 European Capital of Culture celebrations, a concert featuring Liverpool-born artists Paul McCartney, the Zutons, and Kaiser Chiefs was held here. Anfield has 53,394 seats, which makes it the seventh-largest football stadium in the country. It was built in 1884 and was originally the home of Liverpool's rivals, Everton. However, when Everton moved to Goodison Park in 1892, a new team was formed so the stadium wasn't left without a club, and Anfield has been the home of Liverpool FC ever since. Whether you're heading to the stadium to catch a big game, or are going to see a concert in the summer, it couldn't be easier to get there. The closest train station to Anfield is Liverpool Lime Street on the West Coast Main Line, then you can simply walk, take a taxi, jump on a bus, or cycle the two miles to the stadium. Located in a city with a rich musical heritage, and with an abundance of iconic superstars heralding from here, Anfield Stadium in Liverpool also plays host to a number of concerts and live music events. With a capacity of over 50,000, this venue has previously welcomed world-class performers including the Rolling Stones, Eagles, Take That, Pink, Bon Jovi and Sir Elton John who performed here as part of his Farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour. With most gigs at Anfield Stadium held in the evening, planning your travel to and from the venue is essential, especially if you're not staying in the city. Thankfully, Liverpool Lime Street Station is just over two miles away, ensuring you've got convenient and easy-to-access train travel when getting to and from concerts at Anfield Stadium. If you don't feel like walking after a night dancing away, Liverpool also has a great taxi service, with a ride to the train station from Anfield taking around 15 minutes. Located just two miles outside the city centre of Liverpool, a visit to Anfield Stadium is a must-do for anyone staying in the city for a day or weekend trip. Whether you're a lifelong Liverpool supporter or you're keen to learn more about the club's rich history and heritage, an Anfield Stadium tour is a great experience. From a visit to the home and away team dressing rooms to a walk down the players' tunnel, a tour of Anfield Stadium has something for everyone. You can even test your interview technique in the press room and learn everything there is to know about Liverpool FC's historical success and present-day achievements. Anfield Stadium tour tickets are available for purchase directly from Avanti, making it easier than ever to plan your trip to Liverpool. Once you've decided on a date for your trip to the city, it's time to plan your route to Anfield. Luckily, Liverpool Lime Street Station is centrally located just two miles from the stadium, with taxis from here to Anfield taking around 15 minutes. Thank you for watching this video.